Just in front of the camera I'm on another level I'd have been to hell and back I know these devils These demons wanna rock I'm giving them heavy metal Burying the walking dead without a shovel For my people I'm taking them dollars back from Creflo Fake pastors with a stronghold on my people Just let go Slow, slow I'm here in, uh, in uh, Poland And looking at some of the uh, artifacts um, In my travels I've uh, seen the Black Madonna, which is very uh, uh, different. Uh, you come here, you see a lot of Russian icons here. So uh, enjoy yourself while I'm doing the tour, and hope you uh, get a chance to see what I see out here in Poland. Thank you. Shalom. in the pudding. You have to come to see the stuff yourself. That's what I have to do. These are the saints. It's supposed to be Mary and uh, the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. So these are here for Wait a minute. So, so these, you said some these people here are the saints? Wow. Awesome. Yeah, Orthodox saints. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Do what year are these paintings? Are they just uh, fairly? Nineteenth century. Nineteenth century. Oh, awesome. Wow. During the nineteenth century, you were in slavery and bondage, worshiping a white Jesus. At the same time, in Europe, they were worshiping black Jesus and painting black Jesus. You need to wake up, my people. And these are the saints. Saints, right? These are paintings of the saints. Yeah. Oh wow. On wood. You, on wood. <laughs> Would you know which which saint? I don't. I don't speak the. Uh, like, uh, what does that one say right here? The two bottle ones. Uh, I don't really know because I don't read Russian letters. Oh. Okay. So, oh, these I, are Russian icons. Yeah. Yeah, it's Orthodox. Most of them. Okay. Oh yeah, wow. Orthodox. They are most of all. Of them are Russian. Awesome. Uh, unbelievable. The one on the left, as far as I know, this uh, kind of photography, this, the one down on the left is St. Nicholas. Okay. But the others, I'm not sure. Awesome. We'll look at that. What color are these? St. Cyr. Hmm. Very obvious. 
So here we have some artifacts. Uh, as you can see, they have a picture of uh, the black, so-called Black Madonna they found. You can see, you can see what color uh, she is. And this is uh, can't depict with, with yeah, but you see these are the bones of Negro people up here in Europe. artifacts that they found here but we most definitely want to keep our eyes on this here the uh, black Madonna and as you can see the cinegram of the Google except the, uh, the uh, Romans see that in the artifacts here. church. The adoration of this Madonna was almost wild. Up the stairs, down the other side, madly singing. What were all these people doing? I wondered, is there a different atmosphere, a different spirit when she is black? Were these people inspired by her blackness? Or didn't it matter? What was I looking at? What was happening to me? with these unexpected tears rolling down my cheeks. I began to study her history. Historically, the precursors to the Black Madonna are many. Isis of Egypt is the goddess of ancient times who I find most fascinating, a true goddess of the people. In the fifth century, the temples to her were rededicated to the Virgin Mary and the diminishment of the goddess's powers was on a grand scale. As the priest said, the Virgin Mary is simply a superlative human being who lived and loved only to do God's will. It can be very confusing to understand the significance and the difference between the white and the black Madonna. The importance is in the metaphors. One is passive, pure, and good, but an obedient female. She is white. The other is fierce, empowering, rooted in the essence of Earth. She is black. In the end, for me, she is black because there was a need for her to be black, to represent the other. Now, as you can see, by this time, you have um you see that they have her. And this is recently built, maybe within the last 60 years. You see they change it, not from the black Madonna to the European white Madonna. So, I just want to show this in you know, back. And uh, these things were whitewashed throughout Europe. And Eastern Europe, definitely. As far as from the West to Eastern Europe, things were whitewashed. I want to show that. Let me get a closer picture of that. Straight paganism. All right, shalom. All right, so again, um, I'm here uh, in Poland. I want to come and check out the Black Madonna out here and see some of the artifacts and show the movement of um, the Hebrew people throughout century. Um, after um, after uh, 70 AD, some was taken as far as uh, Europe up to Poland, and so <clears throat> even here you can see that um, they have the artifacts and paintings of, of the Mashiach as a Negro man, and um, um, it's everywhere. I mean, like evidence, everything is evidence. You know, proof is in the pudding, and so you know. Um, for those who say that Europeans 
uh, ruled uh, 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 or whites ruled the Europeans first. That's false. It was actually our people who were brought up here. Who was up here first. The Romans came, conquered some, and then brought up people over after 70 a day. We had great people like Septimus, who was a uh, great general in, uh, in ancient history. So I pretty much want to show you people that for those who are not able to, you know, get out, get out the country and see some of these things that are visible. All right. Uh, see you again real soon. Shalom.